everybody. So I'm back again today with another guitar lesson for you. Today we're going to take a look into Jody Messina's Heads Carolina, Tales California. We're going to break down the intro and then we're going to break down how I play the solo when I play this live, okay? So I did a lesson over the intro a while back, so you can go back and take a look at that. I think it was two or three years ago. Uh, but this is going to have some tabs for you over on my Patreon page for the intro, and it's also going to, we're going to go over the solo, and I have tabs for that as well, okay? So let's dive into this intro, and I'll play it for you slow. Now let's make note we're in the key of E, so we're mainly playing over our one chord or our E chord, our five chord or our B chord, our four chord or the A chord, okay? And then back to the five, the B. So that's our chord progression. It's a one, five, four, five progression. So E, B, A, B. Okay, and I'm actually playing these chords with open strings or open voicings. So I've got my B string and little E string ringing open. When I play the B, I'm doing the same thing. It's a B sus. Like a B, it'd be a B sus four, I guess. And then I'm playing an A sus two. And we'll get into that, okay? So for the intro, we're going to start with a slide here. Okay, what I'm doing is I'm starting on the A string second fret, sliding into the seventh fret with my first finger. Okay, then I'm playing a double stop on the ninth fret with my ring finger and pinky finger on the D string and G string. Okay, then another double stop, this time on the G string and the B string. I'm gonna play the tenth fret on the B, ninth fret on G, and then play those again, but bring the ninth or bring the tenth fret of the B string down to nine. So, okay. Also, uh, good to make note here, I'm doing a lot of muting with my hands, right? With my, my left hand and my right hand. So this needs to be real percussive. You don't want it all just to be ringing together and be real legato. You want it more staccato and percussive, okay? So, once again, you can already hear some space between. Okay? That's all over the one chord. Then we go to the five chord or the B. What I'm doing there is pretty simple there. I'm just making the A shape B chord here on the fourth fret. And then kind of going up to a B sus. So what I'm doing barring uh, D, G, and B string on the fourth fret. And I'm plucking the, I'm doing the double stop on the G and the B string. And that's a hammer on from four to five on B. Okay. Then when we go to the four chord, I'm playing an A sus two here, which is just like this, All right? But I'm just doing it up here in this position, okay? And I'm actually hammering on from four to six on the G string to make that a true A chord. Hammering on basically from the, the two, the second note of the A scale to the third note, okay? Then back to our four chord, or sorry, to the five chord. And this time I'm doing a walk up, just right up the E major scale. Back up to this, right? And I could do the whole scale there, you know. I wanted to do that in double stops, right? So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna break this way down. We're not going super slow here because like I said, there's tabs over on my Patreon page. So, but um, I've got some stuff I gotta work on. I've got a gig later on tonight too. So I'm trying to get through this for you guys. All right, so once again, the intro. Just make sure when you're coming off of that first five chord, right, make sure you don't put the ring finger down yet. I'm putting the middle finger down, fifth fret of the B string, pinky down on the D string, seventh fret. Right, and I'm using my first finger to bar the fourth fret to get that G string on the fourth fret. Right, you want that? You don't want this. Um, so you don't want you don't want to come right into that. Right? You want to come into and then hammer that on. Okay, and then you just repeat it. Right. So that's the intro. Like I said, I, I think I broke it down a little bit more into detail on the other lesson. I'll leave that lesson up for you. 
Um, but yeah, let's jump into the solo and I'll show you how I play the solo live. Now this solo is not note for note just like the record. You can listen to that in here. It's pretty close, but it's not note for note. I actually took this solo from one of the live performances I saw from Joe D, from her lead guitar player, and this is kind of how he played it live, and I really liked this version, so this is how I've incorporated it into this song when we do it live. So, I'm gonna show you this. So slowly, it's gonna start here. Okay, and all I'm doing there is a walk down the E major scale on the G string. Right? So it's good to know your major scale. Right? That's your G or your E major scale. Now what I'm doing is I'm letting the B string and little E string ring open underneath that note. Okay? I'm going down from nine down to eight, down to six, down to four. Then repeat that. Then we're coming from four back up to six. Back down to four. Down to two. Down to one on the G. And then slide from two to four on D. So the whole thing there is. Okay, you could end it like this. Do that. What I did was I went bending that. Basically, I'm playing over the B chord or the five chord, and I'm bending the third of B up to the fourth and making it a sus chord. Okay, so. Or that's the sound I'm going for, right? So, uh, slowly, once again, that's. Landed on four on G, you can slide all the way to 13 on G, which is where we start the second part of this solo. So what I'm doing here is I'm going all the way to 13 on G, and I'm doing the same little droning sound where I've got the B and E ringing open. We're just playing our E major scale. We're just now starting on the third of the E major scale. So. So I'm going from 13, down to 11, down to nine, down to eight, okay? So, back up to 11, and right down the scale. Okay, st stops on six there, then sliding four to six to finish it out. Okay, so it's real similar to the first part. Except this time I'm doing a walk up the E major scale in six to finish it. So, um, okay. And I'm putting a little vibrato on the note there at the end with my trim bar. Be mindful when you use your trim bar, do not overuse it. Be real subtle with it, especially on stuff like this. But that's a lesson for another day. We won't get into a lot of that. But anyway. So what I've got so far, um, slowly, that second half is... You can also do the trim uh, vibrato with your left hand here, right? Just real subtle. So, all right, so that's the whole solo. Then there's one more part that you hear after the solo that goes... Okay, and all I'm doing there is I'm starting on the, a double stop on the B and little E on the 12th fret and, and falling off that. So, and then sliding the same two strings, B and little E from seven to nine and back to seven. And you can put some vibrato on that as well, okay? So that's the solo, that's how I play the solo. It's a little bit different on the record. I think you can hear two guitar players on the record uh, harmonizing and playing that, but Anyway, hope you guys have enjoyed this. Uh, I want to tell you I've got some really cool stuff coming up. Uh, I can't tell you everything yet until we release it. Uh, but i got some cool stuff coming up this summer as far as gigs concerned. I'm going to be flying out to L.A. and doing some shows out there. Uh, I think we're going to Phoenix and Jacksonville and doing some stuff with a new country artist. So stand by for that. 
Also, I've partnered up with a, a buddy of mine from college. It's a pro player in Nashville. And uh, we're going to be uh, ramping up the teaching stuff, and we're going to be coming out with some really cool content for you guys, okay? So stay tuned for some word on that coming real soon, and I'll see you guys real again real soon. See you. Bye-bye.